all right. It's about that time. It's about that time. Hit the intro. Now, to give you guys a little more clarifications or give you guys a little more information as to why I am doing a part one and part two. So, for those who don't know, I moved part of my, the first part of my collection to Atlanta, Georgia. Um, just thought that, you know, it would be a better place to be here, but then I had to go for, back to California for other reasons, uh, for personal reasons, um, went back to California. Um, and then I um, had some of my pre-orders and things that I had on at the card come to that place. Um, so, Right now, half my collection is there and half my collection is here. So what you guys are going to see is the first part of my collection uh, tour. Um, and um, part two will not be for a while until I get everything situated, uh, get everything displayed, look nice. So part two will come, just don't expect it anytime soon. Um, so it's gonna take time, but a part two will definitely be up and going. Um, and in any cases, I will definitely do like a playlist where you can see all my collections uh, throughout the years and you'll see my part one and part two through the playlist. So shall we just get to the uh, to the collection, right? And I, I got a lot of stuff coming. So I got two brand new figures while I was here. I got two brand new figures. Um, so you'll see something new in the collection. And then when I go back there, you'll see something new. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. These this part one and part two um, collection door. All right, guys, here we go. All right, so here is the first shelf. I would say the DC shelf. This is the Justice League Superman. Um, I have to tell you guys, I am so glad that I own this uh, Superman. It's one of my. I would. I would even consider him as a Grail now. You know, because I know he's considered a Chase figure now, because he's the only red and blue Superman figure that we have currently. Um, gotta tell you, it's one of the best looking Supermans to date, and I'm so excited to go pick up that two pack, which I do have, which I do have on order, and uh, cannot wait to have it. So, if you guys are still looking for the red and blue Superman, I would suggest pick this version up out of all the Henry Cavells, or pick up the uh, you know the Christopher Reeve Superman, which is a great one as well. If you can find one for a really good deal, um, but I'm sure he's out there. So, definitely, definitely pick up for any Superman fan out there and any Just League fan who's trying to complete the whole line. Uh, thankfully, I have the whole line and can't wait to complete that. Then down here, we have the Justice League Batman. And I gotta tell you guys something. This Batman is my favorite Batman in the collection right now. Um, I do have the DX-19, um, but this one kind of screams a whole different animal. I know they're two different people, but there's something about the armor that just suits it really, really well. And I know that he's going for crazy money right now. Um, so if you guys can find one, definitely pick him up. I unfortunately did not pick up the special edition with the mother box. Fortunately, didn't have one, but this is still a good figure to have. And I know people don't like the Just League bases, but I kind of like them, they look pretty cool. Um, once you have all of them displayed together. So this is the Justice League Batman and comes with a great amount of accessories. Um, I think it's worth the price and for people who don't have it, you should definitely, definitely pick them up. So there again, that is the Justice League Tactical Batman. So then down here, we have Justice League Wonder Woman. Um, I know that this Wonder Woman is not the most favorite Wonder Woman figure. I think she's a little better. I think she's way better than the BVS Wonder Woman. But um, you know, some people beg to differ. I think she's she's definitely there for one of the best uh, Wonder Woman figures. Head sculpt definitely needs improvement. Not my favorite figure when it comes to posing. I know it's evidently because of the fice and rubberish body. Not a fan of posing figures like that, so she's been in this kind of pose, neutral vanilla pose for since I've got her. So, you know, I change her poses here and there. You know, I take out the weapon or give her the lasso. Um, 
but uh, you know, she does well. She does well for sure. And I needed her for my for my Just Leave display, so glad to have her. Um, I know we have the 84 one coming pretty soon, but to me, I just love the the kind of like darker tone of the of her suit compared to like that sort of saturated color that we see in 84. Just my opinion, um, but if you can find for a really good deal, I think you should go pick her up. Then, right here, we have the Justice League Aquaman, and I have to tell you guys something. This Aquaman is the best Aquaman to date. I absolutely love this outfit. I think this outfit is probably the best Aquaman outfit. I'm not a huge fan of the Aquaman film. I never really was a huge fan of that outfit, but um, you know, it's cool. But this one to me is, I think this is my definitive Aquaman. I don't think I'll get another, I don't think I'll get another Aquaman. We just have to see how the film goes. Um, but uh, this is definitely, if you guys can, if you guys are in need of an Aquaman, and if you want to pick up one, this is the one to pick up for sure. I mean, this is just, it's a beautiful piece and I highly, highly recommend it. Not the most plausible figure, but definitely the presence is just amazing. So, on to the second shelf. So, looking to the DC here. We have the Justice League Flash. Now, I gotta tell you something. This Flash figure, I, I, I was so scared to pose because I just never know, never knew how the suit was gonna hold up, how long it would hold up. But after posing it, you know, it, it the suit for, you know, it's very forgiving. It goes back to square one once it's, you know, once you're done with the posing. So just for the collection tour, I had to pose him up in the running pose because why not? It's it's Flash. And it's, I know this guy is get, kind of getting a bad rap right now, Ezra Miller. I know he's kind of been a, the uh, the most talked actor right now um, due to, uns, you know, things that's going on with him right now due to uncircumstances. But this is um, still one of the, my, I think it's my favorite Flash figure, uh, to be honest with you. I think it's, it has the presence. I love the outfit. I love the design of the outfit. Um, I think Flash looks good when it's posed up. When in a museum pose, not so much. I mean, you can work with it, but you gotta give him that character that you got in the Just Leap film. So for sure, if you guys can find him, definitely pick him up, even with the stuff that's going on with the actor. I think he's definitely worth the pickup, so. Then we're kind of breaking, kind of taking a break here um, of sort of, Marvel, we still have one more DC figure down here. But uh, this is the upgraded suit Spidey from Far From Home. Now I do wish I had this guy with Mysterio, but one day I'll, I'll pair him up next to Mysterio and this day will look good together. I kind of have this Spider-Man figure in a pose where he's taking a picture of himself with the two peace sign, uh, peace sign, so you know, I had to, uh, to do something with Spider-Man. You know, I kind of got a lot more comfortable posing Spider-Man figures, you know, I just, I didn't really know the suit could forgive itself, but I mean, I had this guy to do some crazy poses and you can see, I mean, you can see some wrinklage, but not to the point where I'm gonna lose sleep. Like this is just, I mean, for what you're getting for a spider figure, this is definitely worth it. Um, I know he's really recently just sold out, but you guys can find him for relatively cheap. I mean, spider figures, they don't tend to sell high. So um, yeah, so I do recommend if you guys can find one, then again, that's the upgraded suit spider from Far From Home. Definitely um, try to find him because he's definitely worth the price. And plus the head sculpt is just amazing. So Down here, we have the Justice League Batman regular suit with the deluxe base. Now I know you're thinking, where's the deluxe base? Well, I have the, the deluxe base, the deluxe base um, you know, back in this box. I just, I don't know. For me, I, I, I don't like posing figures too much. I mean, I do like posing figures. It's just not long term. I've actually saw some issues with this guy with some rip, um, you know, parts of the suit. I know this guy's kind of experiencing some issues with that too, so um, so I don't pose it. So I kept him in this pose because to me, I, I do have two Ben Afflecks and to help differentiate that, I have to put the head sculpt. And let me tell you something, this head sculpt, I don't care, I don't care if people say this is a 10 out of 10 head sculpt. I think this is this looks just like Ben Affleck. Um, you know, so I, it's just, it's, it's such a beautiful figure to me and it's an amazing figure. So for anybody who is looking out for a regular suit Batfleck, I do recommend him, 
but I do also recommend the BVS or the just the Suicide Squad one because to me that's the best Batman suit. Um, still trying to fetch one that I'm trying to find one for, that for a really good deal. So um, I, I don't care. I mean, when it comes to Batman, Spider Man, I I'm okay to buy more than one. So yeah. Uh, that is Ben Affleck Batman. One of the best figures out there. I think it's the best posable Batman figure, to be honest with you, these two. Um, we shall see what the Robert Pattinson Batman holds. Down here, we get to Marvel. Um, now, these two figures are two characters I really need in the collection. I think these are two characters. We have Ronin slash Hawkeye next to the Black Widow. Um, these are characters that I felt that, you know, I need it because I'm trying to build my OG6. You know, I grew up with the 2012 Avengers film, the first Avengers film, and uh, I needed, needed these two characters in my collection. So, um, unfortunately, I don't have the OG6 in the one in the same shelf, same place. But one day, these guys will be in the same shelf, and you guys will see the ultimate collection. So, right now, you're just seeing a fracture of it. So, just seeing one part, the second part, not together, but one day that will happen. This Black Widow and Hawkeye. I do recommend to pick up this Black Widow. I was, I, I not a, was not a fan of the Black Widow film. I just need one Black Widow. I don't need, I don't, I don't need two Black Widows. Uh, this will just do well. Then I got the Hawkeye figure, which looks fat, amazing. Uh, this is my favorite look as far as the Hawkeye with the Ronin outfit. So for people who don't have this, well, definitely get him because he is worth it. All right. Done with the second detail. Let's get to the third detail. And my, my, might I just say these are like the kind of the most important characters. Um, okay. Uh, here we have the Mad Titan himself, Thanos from Infinity War. Well, I say maybe I might say the best Marvel comic film, one of the best Marvel comic films out there. Um, this is just, I mean, when you think of Thanos, you think of Infinity War, you think of those those films, and it's just, to me, I know people are saying, which one would you pick up, the Endgame version or this version? I would just pick up this version, just because he was such a prominent character. He had a big, I think he had a much more bigger role in Infinity War. There was much more character in it. Um, we got to see him kind of kick butt in, in the film. So this is definitely a, a, a figure that I think everybody needs in their collection. If you are a Marvel fan, if you love those films, you definitely want to pick them up. And he's relatively cheap, so you guys can find him for crazy deals out there. So do yourself a favor and pick him up. I I won't hold grudge against the bell damage, Thanos. I do want to pick that up. I do want to pick up that one in the future. I love that base. So um, yeah, so that's Thanos. Love this figure. I don't think I'll ever sell him. Like pretty much all my collection, I don't all my figures that I buy, I don't sell because I buy them as a nostalgia factor and it's a meaning to me. So. Um, yeah, absolutely love this figure. Down here we have Darth Maul from Solo. Now, to me, this is probably one of the best Darth Mauls out there out of the three. Uh, if I were to rank them, it would be Phantom Menace is the first, second would be Solo Maul, and third would be the Solo Maul. Um, if I had to pick one of the other two Mauls, I'll go pick up the Phantom Menace Maul if I could find one for a really good deal. For me, Phantom Menace Maul is just the best Maul, but this one's not bad. This one comes with the chair, with the bionic legs, and might I just say, it's way better looking than the one from Clone Wars, just my opinion. And I think it, this one's more menacing compared to the Phantom, uh, the uh, Clone Wars one, so there's that. Um, I just love this figure. I, I kept him in the sitting pose, like we saw him in Solo. I might change up the pose, uh, but this one so far is permanent until I find a new idea and change the pose, but this is Solo Darth Maul. And yeah, I mean, look at that skull. That's just, that's insane. So there you go, Solo Maul. Great, great figure. Down here we have my first ever figure and maybe the most controversial Star Wars film of all time, Star Wars The Last Jedi. Um, to me, Kylo Ren was the strongest point of the sequel trilogy. I think he was the strongest character. I, I felt that I, I had a connection with them throughout the three films. Um, I do want to see him again in some shape or form. Um, that's possible. Um, but yeah, I, I just think Kylo Ren, was, Kylo Ren kind of brought me back to Star Wars. Let's, let's just say that. I was a huge Star Wars fan before 
but Star Wars was kind of dying for me until the Force Awakens came out when I saw this character. I immediately fell in love with Star Wars again. And, you know, this is a character that I would thank dearly because I, it's just, Kylo Ren is a character that I, I think it's very unique in, in, in many ways. Um, and it, it, I would pick up any, all the other Kylo Ren's if I wanted to. I would pick up the Force Awakens, which is going for relatively cheap, and also the, um, the Rise of Skywalker. But this one shall do fine. Um, love him. If you guys are wondering how'd you make this cape kind of wired, well, I just put some bendy wires into the hole. There's like little holes here. You can put it in and kind of a bendy wired cape. Uh, so that's what I have going through. But to me, my first ever figure and will not sell. This will be the last thing I would sell, uh, to be honest with you. So there we go. Last Jedi Kylo Ren. Then down here, we have Mark 5 Iron Man. Now I know what you guys are thinking, like, wait, I mean, you have this, where's the battle damage 85? Well, that was my original plan, is to pick up the regular 85, um, but, I mean the battle damage 85, but after owning this guy, I kind of like the clean version more. And yes, this is the updated 85, scope to who signed up for that 85 um, thing on Sideshow. Um, so if people who got it, great, if not, Good luck finding one. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is definitely, uh, this is definitely one of the, I think this is my favorite Iron Man suit. Uh, as much as I love the, the, the seven, this is my favorite. Um, 80, like the 85 and the 50 are my favorite suits because I love that nanotech uh, look to it. So yeah, 85. I am probably gonna pick up the 85 battle damage, but um, not today, not today. I do wish I had, you know, cap, and uh, Thor here next to him. But like I said, the ultimate collection will come in the near future. So stay tuned for that, whatever that, that will be, but uh, hopefully soon. So there you go, the Marketing 5 from Endgame. So that is the third detail. Let's get into the fourth detail. Right here, we have the Star Wars display. So, right here, we have the Beskar Mando from season one of Mandalorian. This figure um, is great, don't get me wrong, I think it's a great figure. Uh, but I, I do prefer, as always, the new version, the season two version. Will I sell this? No, not really, because I think there, there are some ways to differentiate the two. I think they're both different in many ways. Um, and I think both tell a story. They both tell different stories. And like I said, I don't sell anything in my collection uh, unless, if necessary, for other things. But this is these are figures that I plan on keeping for for a very very long time. So um, this is a character I fell in love with. This is my one of my favorite bounty hunters. Um, you know, next to Cad Bane. So um, yeah, this is definitely a cool figure to have. As you see, we got Grogu here. You get two of two of them, so love this pose, love the effects. I never really used the effects because I thought they were very cheap looking, but this one kind of gets gives the exception to be honest. With you. I give an exception for this one. I kind of like the firing uh, effect. So that is the best Scar Mandalorian from season one. Down here we have the pre Beskar, the Dura Steel, the OG Mando. Uh, this is this is my I think my one of my favorite figures in the collection. This is definitely a figure um, I would love to keep forever. I, I, I mean, I, I, if there was a thing, so if someone told me to sell this or the best Cormando, I would sell the best Cormando over this because this is a figure that represents a lot. I mean, this is kind of like the kind of the Clint Eastwood, you know, before Mando kind of got all happy with you know Baby Yoda, so AKA Grogu. It's just, he was such a great character before he met Grogu, and don't get me wrong, I, I love where Mando is, but I kind of miss this version of Mando, to be honest. I kind of miss the kind of like, the nomad, doesn't care about anything, Mando. So, I hope we get some of that version back in season three of Mandalorian. Um, so, yeah, love this figure, love this, I just, this figure was amazing. I actually did mod mine, I uh, took the fat suit off, kind of adjusted a few things, Cut the fat suit right there. I still have the fat suit in there, just kind of modded it myself, and it poses well. So I'm glad I did the mod. 
And for people who are still trying to find them, uh, he's still going for kind of cheap now. You can find him for pretty good deal, pretty good deals. I know we're getting the second one with the Blurg. Um, there's, for me, it's not necessary to pick up a second one. This is like the only one I have. And uh, yeah, that is the Mandalorian from the Mandalorian series, season one. Down here is a latest pickup. It is the Death Watch Mando. Now for me, um, this is a character, I kind of give it, gave, gave it a little, you know, exception. I know I buy things that have meaning to me, but this figure, there's something about it, guys. There's something about this figure I just love. And he's the guy who saved Din Djarin. You know, I, I guess that, I think that's what kind of drawn me to buy it. I, you know, it's, it's a figure I didn't buy from Sideshow nor any vendors. I actually bought this off some Facebook groups for a pretty good deal. Brand new 210 shipped. I couldn't pass up on that deal. And um, yeah, I just went for it. And, Glad I went for it, man, because this is a figure I just I absolutely love, and I'm glad I have in the collection. And if you guys are wondering, what's that poncho? Well, my friends, that's poncho from Qui-Gon Jinn and um, Wired and all of it. I just felt, felt it made sense, you know? Um, and I got this inspiration from my friend, uh, Boston Collectors, um, when he put the poncho over his Death Watch Mando in his review. Um, I just, there's something about it that just made sense to me having this poncho look, so. Um, yeah, love this figure and I can't wait to display, display this guy with all the other Mandos um, I have and just do like a kind of like a group photo of all the Mandalorians. So there it is, Death Watch Mando for the Mandalorian season one. So definitely would pick him up if you can uh, because he's definitely worth it. He's a Mandalorian, why not, you know? So off to the next figure, we have, I think the most, I think talked about character now ever since Kenobi. Spoiler alert, he showed up in Kenobi. Um, glad I have him in the collection. He is a figure that I bought uh, last year, I believe, uh, last year of, of uh, May the 4th. And um, it, it felt needed for me. There, there's something about Qui-Gon Jinn. I grew up with the prequels and I had to get him before he sold out. Um, he's definitely worth it. And you guys are wondering, where's the lightsaber? Well, unfortunately, due to the fact that he's such a tall guy, the lightsabers will not fit with this kind of pose. I went with that kind of Qui-Gon-esque pose that he does. Um, absolutely love this figure. If you guys can find him for a pretty good deal, please pick him up. He is worth it. He is a Jedi and we just don't get Qui-Gon Jinn. You know, this is like a once in a lifetime. So if you guys can find him, please do yourself, do you, do yourself a favor and um, pick him up. So there, there you go. Um, I do hope we, we get um, young Obi-Wan because I do want to pick up a young Obi-Wan with this guy. So hopefully in the future. On to the fifth shelf and the last shelf we have, oh, sorry about that. We have uh, the Heavy Mando. And to me guys, this is my favorite. And I mean my favorite figure in the collection. Um, this is a sought out figure. I know a lot of people beforehand didn't care much about a figure, but now people really love this figure. And uh, I don't blame them. You know, I was like that too. I didn't like the figure, but I made the jump for it. I bought it and it's just an amazing piece. Overall, great piece. Love that I have in the collection. And he just goes super well with the other Mandos. If you guys have seen my armor uh, video in my Death Watch video, make sure you guys go check that out after this. Um, it's just a character that, that just belongs in my collection. It's, it's one of those really prominent characters. And I know that Hot Toy showed a reissue of it in Star Celebration of this year. Uh, it doesn't bug me. Uh, for people who missed out on it and get a second chance, love the opportunity. So there you go, guys. Um, if they do a reissue, which they probably will, um, he's definitely worth the pickup. So there you go. That's Heavy Mando. And I absolutely love my, this is my favorite figure in the collection. Still is. Down here, we have IG-11, and my, may I just say, this is the, I think, I was, I'm still in shock that this guy is still in stock. Um, very underrated, very, very underrated figure. Um, I think people are crazy that they're skipping on this one. This is a figure that everybody needs in their display because any Star Wars fan, if you guys know, IG-88 was in, um, Empire Strikes Back. Now I know that's not the same IG unit, 
but it is an IG unit, and that could go with your Empire Strikes Back OG Star Wars display, you know, and then your Mando display, obviously. It's just, it's just a bounty hunter. Anything with bounty hunter for me, Mandalorian, is something that I gush over. So this is a character that I think you need to have and will not come back. So IG-11, guys, go pick him up while he's still in stock. Please do, because he's definitely worth, um, you know, the price. So. I'm so happy I have him next to the OG Mando. So, definitely, definitely pick him up. Down here, uh, the, the most long awaited, I had, I was very, I was kind of deliberating on this one and I pulled the trigger. Um, we have the armor. Now, the armor is a character I think everybody needs in their collection. I, I know she's not the most favorite figure because of the single joint elbows. Trust me, it's not my favorite part of the figure. But. You kind of, you know, you lose that. It, it doesn't matter because it's a, it's a care, it's a very prominent character in the collection. I think people need her in the in in, 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 in the display. If you are a Mandalorian fan, if you love everything Mando related, you have to pick her up because she's definitely worth it. Um, pick her up from Sideshow. Use a little coupon that, he, that they had, um, and yeah, she was definitely worth the wait. I was planning on getting her, um, but I was just waiting for the right price, and I got for two twenty shipped, so that sounded good for me. Um, so people who don't have her, and plus I actually did the uh, accessory here. You definitely want to keep the Beskar Mando because you do get that accessory and it goes super well with, with that. You get all the Beskars, the rocket behind her, because she's the man, she's the armor. You know, she she creates the armor. She forges every single armor of the Mandalorian. So definitely uh, worth the pickup. And we'll see her again in season three. Do we, will we see a reissue? Possibly not, but it, because it, it is a exclusive Toy Story exclusive, then again, things like the Nightmare Batman happened, so wouldn't hold past them. Uh, the last figure of the collection will be Cody, Commander of Cody. Now you guys know my <laughs> my grudge or my like frustration with this figure. This figure was a huge problem back then. Um, I, I think half of, half of my videos that I've made are about him. <laughs> this figure had an issue, and I'm sure a lot of you guys know, uh, an arm issue. Where the arm, it was at the left or the right one had an issue. I, I went through many, you know, replacements and I had that issue. But I ended up going, you know, with my way and fixing him, and I did. And uh, he is now a great figure. Um, Cody is a character of clone that I don't think they'll make again just because it's one of those characters where I think really belongs to Re Revenge of Sith. If they were going to do another Revenge of Sith, um, you know, and I, I figure from this line, I think it will be from the anniversary when we get the anniversary, I think three years uh, in time. But until then, you know, this shall do. Um, this is a great figure, definitely worth the pick up. Um, recommend to any, any Star Wars fan out there. So love this figure. I wish I had him next to my um, Rex. One day, like I said, the ultimate display will will definitely come. So that concludes part one of the collection tour. I'm trying not to knock myself over. Um, so that is the collection tour. Hope you guys enjoyed it. There you go. Collection tour part one, part two will come out. Okay, so that was the collection tour, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this part one of the collection tour. Now, I know I said before, part two will do, will come out um, in the near future. Don't worry. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this first part of the collection. I know it's kind of the same thing that you saw. Some poses are changed, um, you know, and the, the next this, um, collection tour might be a little different. It won't be all detailed, so some of them might be on my floating shelves. That you'll see um but don't worry the ultimate collection will come pretty uh, hopefully uh, in the near future uh, once i have everything settled um, then you'll see that so uh as always guys make sure you guys like and subscribe to the channel uh, to see more content from me um there's more coming to the channel i will be taking a break for a little bit uh but i will come back and do more videos like this um but then again, stay tuned with Wonder Twins episode, um, you know, weekly. Um, and yeah, uh, with my co-host Riley, who the reviews. Um, and my other friend too, uh, Nick Collectibles, another co-host. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, part two will come out. Don't worry, guys. Part two will come very, very soon. All right, guys. Stay tuned. See ya.